have the flight suit, they tell me. I know what I'm doing, they tell me. Uh, Master Whitestoke? Master Whitestoke, are you all right in there? Bit of a rhetorical question, really. Um, I know you're in there because I helped put you into the thing, and I know you're alive because I can hear you complaining. Yes, Master Whitestoke, I will gladly help you out. After all, I live to serve. Well, um, I have. I have tried the flight suit, and it went much better with me in it. I wouldn't take that so personally, Master Whitestoke. Um, one of us is more accustomed to relinquishing control to a device to get around. Hmm. Well, it took me some time to get into the standing frame. The standing frame. Um, it's a device I use to stand up so that I can pick you up and get you on the... Um, yeah, there, there we are. <laughs> Think of it like a hydraulic lift, only for a person. Well, you're much heavier in the suit. True. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, I think maybe we should focus more on function over form changes. Although, I do love the part. Yes. You know, you will be the death of me one day, I swear. <laughs> because it's always just jump in with you. It's never... It's never thought first. Yes. Yes, it is. Ever since the accident, you've always been charging in when you should be thinking. Thinking should be the first thing on your mind always. Because you are Master Whitestoke. And I am just your servant. No, no, no. That is not a dig at myself, thank you very much. I'm very happy with who I am. I'm proud of who I've become. I've overcame plenty. And I feel that I am a much better person for it. However, at the end of the day, I'm not the one with the name Whitestoke. Yes, yes. Hargrave, yes. I know, that is my last name. Thank you. And yes, Hargrave is a fine name, but it is the name of a servant. And I'm happy to have it. It fulfills my purpose, which is to serve you, a Whitestoke. And if there's anything I want on my epitaph, it's that it says I was a good servant. Loyal and true. Yeah. As for your flight suit, it's not quite as dependable. Well, not anymore. I'm going to have to fix this. Well, it's not exactly like we can take it to a mechanic. They're going to ask why it's why it's here, why you have it, and why is it fit for you and not for a member of the military. Hmm, there you are. Hello, Master Whitestoke. It's good to see you again. Yes, I know. It's the standing frame. Well, uh, didn't realize that Seeing me eye to eye when you're on your feet was so important to you. Well, I'd, I'd like to look up at you. It's a good angle. 
<laughs> yes, I'm being flirty again. Well, I never said that being a good servant meant that I was a well-behaved servant. I mean, after all, I am indulging this vigilanteism. Hmm. Well, that's mostly because I know that if I don't indulge it, that you'll just do it yourself. And White Stokes, never been very good with self-indulgent. Hmm. No. No, your father had his gambling issues. Your grandfather, according to my father, was a horrible, horrible drunk without assistance. Yes, yes, that's why there are so many secret compartments in Whitestoke Manor. No, they are not filled with alcohol anymore. They are filled with... something else. Since... I have discovered your horrible vice. Let's not worry about that until the time comes, shall we? Well... A white stoke must always lead with their heart and not necessarily their head, apparently. And a hargrave must always have a plan. And I think that will work just fine as they are. I'm going to lower myself back into my wheelchair now. Um, why? Master Whitestoke... You know that that can't happen. Yes, I have observed that we are very close. Um, and um, despite the bruises and marks, I find you very, very attractive. But um, this can't happen. Well, for several reasons. One... I was going to say, you're still stuck in most of the flight suit. I just got it so you can stand up. It's not exactly the most intimate thing to stealthily peel you out of. Secondly, I was going to say, it is against my position to fraternize with a white stoke. And third... I was going to say that were we to fraternize, it might cause issues down the line. Well, with this dark crusade you're putting yourself into, one of us needs to maintain a clear head. If we're involved, I doubt that that'll happen. Okay, if we're involved more than we already are. Very well. Let's say, just for a moment, that you start to make enemies. And those enemies figure out that you and I are together. How long do you think they'll take before they decide to come after me to get to you? Or come after you to get to me? No, it's best if we try to keep everything separate. I know. I, I have an unfair advantage. Master Whitestoke, I've had to resolve that we couldn't be together since the accident. But even before then, when my father started to train me, to be a servant for the White Stoke family. Well, it's frustrating. It's hard to enter your room in the morning with your breakfast and your paper. It's hard to assort your clothing. It's hard to prepare the car prepare meals and not think about you in a 
more what's the word I suppose comfortable white to be more familiar with you to have you more familiar with me sometimes for a while the chair kind of helped alleviate that um, that that happens often with um, the victims of my condition but that quickly went away I don't have legs but I'm still more of a person than a lot of people are well everyone that have both their legs and no will to do anything with their lives for starters is that cruel? Perhaps. A little. But. If I can do it, why can't they? I'm just a servant after all. <laughs> Missing two limbs does not stop me from being your most dependable and loyal servant. And for a lot of people, that would be enough to stop them from being anything. It's not my style. I bear no ill will towards them, but I'm not going to be held back, let's say. Good. Let's get you out of that suit, because it uh, looks like we're going to need to be moving again. Well, this was never meant to be a full test run. You have a busy schedule for the rest of the afternoon, and I know that you're going to want to get a nap in, at least. Well, you have to be well rested. For your next trip out, a flight suit is not the only thing that I have for you. 